What's up, guys? Takedown here, back with another weekly episode of Storytime. Today is episode 17. It's going to be a funny one, as the title might make you laugh. And it's 100% true, like always, with my series. It is the first week of May. It's getting close to my birthday, May 13th. Please um, send me birthday wishes. It makes me feel good about myself. But anyways, let's get into this video. So... As the title suggests, I was bit by an ostrich, so let's talk about that. Back when I was really young, we used to go to uh, zoos all the time. There's one zoo in Quebec, Park Safari, and then the Toronto Zoo, and there might be a few other small ones, but I don't remember them. I can't remember where this one was. Something tells me it was Park Safari. Actually, yeah, it has to be Park Safari because they've changed over the years, but <clears throat> before I start, with, and tell the story that how I was bit by an ostrich, I will say, when I was young, you used to be able to go to a zoo and you used to bring things like marshmallows, popcorn, crackers, stuff to feed the animals. You're literally allowed to throw them to the animals, whether they're in their cage, their exhibit, like you'd be up here and you'd throw it down to them. Or uh, when the animals would be walking around your vehicle and you'd be driving through the little part um, you used to be able to feed them whatever you want. Nowadays, you're not allowed to do it. At least, I haven't been to the zoo probably 8 to 10 years. But the last time I was there, you weren't allowed to give them food. I remember Dad threw a marshmallow down to them once, and they came, security came up and said, Yo, yo, do that again, you're kicked out of here. Because the animals are on strict diets. And I mean, I do understand that. But they should have enforced it a little bit. They, they should have enforced it at the gate before you came into the zoo. Not find somebody doing it and give them shit. I mean, we used to do that all the time. Everybody used to do that all the time I think years ago. Now you're not allowed to do it and you can get kicked out of the zoo for that. Um, but anyways, this happened when I was young. I can't remember an age. I probably have pictures somewhere, not of me getting bit, but of the, the trip itself. Um, but what we did was we, excuse me, we did pop popcorn for the trip and then we went hours it was far away. Um, I think my grandfather was here at the time. I did talk to him, talk about him in episode 14. Go check that out. That one was a long one, a serious one, but this one's funny. Um, so he, he was there and what, I, I don't know if it's still like this at certain zoos or if they just stopped this because it could be really freaking dangerous, but especially how some people would do it. And I'll talk about that too, actually, in this one. But you used to be driving in your vehicle. You'd have a vehicle full of people. You had carrots, popcorn. You, you could purchase the food at the place, like boxes of their food, and give to the animals. Um, most people brought their own. It was more cost efficient. Um, and you used to drive around, and there'd be things like camels. There'd, camels, um, hippos, giraffes, um, elephants, you know, big animals. Nothing s extreme like rhino because you know you piss a rhino off it could smash and destroy your vehicle but the year of this trip though they stopped with um giraffes and elephants like really extreme animals because i guess there was an incident where an elephant took a kid out of a car with his trunk same thing with the giraffe so it's like oh we can't have those animals out now so that's why i strongly doubt that places do this anymore um, let you drive around the animals, but they, they used to be a fire thing. That was the most popular thing. That's the one we enjoyed the most because you're interacting with the animals. It was fun. It was it was really, really fun. A great experience. They'd come up to your car, try to get their head in the car if the window's open, basically looking for food. But some people that would do it wrong, they'd have a van. They'd open the back tailgate. They'd let their kids sit there. And it's like if that, if that animal attacks... You can't really floor it out of there because you got vehicles in front of you. What are you going to do? The kids are going to get attacked. They're going to get hurt. They could die. They could get killed. And you can't get back to them and help them at times. So it's like, don't open the tailgate and have your kids just there with food. Like, you want the food? And expect them not something not to go wrong. But anyways, let's get back into the video. So I just went a little bit off topic there, which I tend to do. So I was young. Rolled the window down. There was an ostrich at it. I was scared, but I was like, okay, let's feed it. And instead of taking the popcorn, like, they never tell you how to feed the animals. You just have to assume. They're wild animals. 
like they're in a zoo. But I mean, they're not your typical animal you have, especially here in Canada. So I had popcorn and instead of putting it on my palm and like, here you go. I had it somehow. I had the popcorn. I'm like, here you go. And I had it just in my fingers. Definitely the wrong thing to do because it bit, hurt, and I was bleeding. But I was like this. Here you go with popcorn. And it just head in the window and just went boom like that. I was bleeding out of like the side of my nail. Pouring blood. I'm bawling my eyes out. Meanwhile, everybody in the vehicle thought it was funny, but I hated it. I was terrified. I didn't want to see another freaking animal the rest of the day. But that was actually really quick. So I'm glad I had the other stuff to talk about in this one. But I was bit by an ostrich. I was terrified and like not anymore. I mean, it's 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 bird. I'll take it down. But <laughs> yeah, I was bit by an ostrich. So I decided to make this story time video because it's something happened to me in the past. It's a memory and I wanted to keep it. So I will leave the story time here. Let me know if you've had any past experiences in zoos that something went wrong, something went away you didn't want it to or expect it to or didn't think it would. Leave that in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. P -p 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 Peace.